Okay, I'm here on Seaborn Encore. This is a cabin tour of Suite 1028, which is a veranda suite category V1. Let's go inside. First, before we do, there's a doorbell. You can see it ringing. Okay, so we'll come in here and first thing you see is there's a key card holder you need to put in your key card in order for the lights and power switches to work. And as I take this tour, I'm gonna to show you some of the and point out some of the features that make traveling on a cruise line like Seaborn, which is a luxury cruise line, unique. Before we get to our tour, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel, maybe give this video a like and put in a comment. Okay, so starting off here on the left-hand side, we have our bathroom. So you can see a lot of very shining, gleaming marble. On the left, we have a stand-up shower with a glass door and you can see you've got the shower head on the top and then you also have an adjustable shower handle wand thing. You have two basin sinks here and on the left hand side you see you've got a power switch. Now one of the nice things about Seaborn is they have a partnership with Moulton Brown which is a very high-end British company that makes soaps and shampoos and then they have a large bath and shower gel pump there, as well as another bath and shower gel here. Um, so it's kind of nice, and they basically have a note here saying if you want to take this home, you're welcome to, but they will charge you for it. So we've got our two sinks here. We have our toilet. And then not common on a lot of uh, cruise ships is a bathtub. So very nice bathroom. We'll take a view here and then just I want to just show you this oh, you have some additional storage shelves as well as some q-tips and cotton balls if you need them so that's the bathroom and we'll go a little bit further in here you do have a small seating area and this is really meant if uh, you're gonna put on your makeup and you want to have a mirror so you've got your full-length mirror there hello um, you do have some power switches there if you wanted to plug in a hairdryer Okay, so one of the other unique things that you get on Seaborn in every suite is a walk-in closet. So this is our walk-in closet. So you've got on the left-hand side, hair dryer, and you have slippers, small and large. So you get a pair of slippers uh, on Seaborn, which is something you don't find with most other cruise ships. So you have um, your storage drawers here to put your clothes and I believe here you have laundry bags you can do laundry and the laundry does have a charge to it you can do dry cleaning they also have laundromats on this ship which are no charge to you so if you're on a longer sailing and you want to wash your your socks and underwear and t-shirts you can do that at no cost so you got your safe here you have some bathrobes which you can use during your sailing there's two of them here and then a whole bunch of places to hang up clothing. You also have a full-size umbrella that you can use if you are in port on a rainy day. Okay, so coming through to the main part of the cabin, you've got your uh, thermostat here to control your temperatures, some light switches. And then on either side of the bed, you have your nightstands. And I'm so happy that all the cruise lines have pretty much gotten on board. You now have USB plug, USB-A and a USB-C a US power plug and a European power plug uh, to charge your devices, plug in your CPAP machine uh, when you're sleeping. Then you have your uh, you have a reading light and uh, right here, as well as the night lamp on the side. Have that on both sides. Same thing with the power switches. And um, on the right hand side, you have your uh, telephone as well. And then each of these have a little storage area as well as a copy of the Bible if you need it. So this is, uh, the, the room is made up now with a um, queen size bed, the two twin beds pushed together. You can have them separated. Another cool thing that they do on Seaborn is they give you a pillow menu. So you have the option of extra firm, firm or soft pillows, and they are all hypoallergenic. They don't use feather uh, filling anymore. It's all synthetic. Uh, but it's nice that you get your choice of how firm you want your you want your pillow. Okay, so I'm going to come around here on this side a little bit further. You have curtains, which you can um, take this tie out and 
close it off. So if you have two people in the room and one of them is watching TV and the other one wants to take a nap, uh, you can separate and close the curtains across to give a little privacy between the, the bed area and this living area. So here you have a mini bar. Up on top you have some glasses to use. And then down here they have uh, reusable bottles of water that they refill for you. And down below is your refrigerator. Now it's already stocked, all of this is included. And if I had a request for a specific type of beer or soda, they would stock it in the fridge for me. I don't drink a lot of soda and I'm not a big alcohol drinker either. So I'm pretty good with what they have. I'll probably just mostly drink water. But if you have a special request, they will try and accommodate that for you. A nice big um, sofa seating area. And then as I come around here, you see you have your uh, veranda. I'll take you outside to take a look at that. So it's a little loud. We're here in Athens in the port of Piraeus. There's a few other ships. There's a MSC Musica right in front. There's a celebrity and a virgin ship off to our right. So you have two chairs here and these do recline and have an ottoman and a nice head pillow for when you're relaxing at sea. You have one on either side and you also have a table here. So if you wanna have your breakfast out on your veranda or room service, you can definitely do that. So let's head back inside. And you also have this very nice small dining area. So if you want to order room service for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, uh, they will bring it to you and set it up here and you can eat it in your uh, veranda suite. They also have welcomed me with some fresh fruit. There's fresh fruit and then more fresh fruit, as well as a uh, bottle of champagne. It's nice, they also have a welcome letter here from the um, master. I'm not gonna try and pronounce the names, yeah, it's, it's a complicated name. But anyways, they uh, they have free champagne throughout the ship. That's one of the calling cards of Seabourn. That's very nice that when you come in on embarkation day, they have a nice chilled stand of champagne. You can even see the, the water sweating from the condensation on the outside of the, the champagne bucket. So very nice. Okay, so come around here. We have our TV. And up on top, you have some storage. There's even a few books here to read. Uh, something about the sea and a world atlas. Uh, some more storage uh, up here and then down below, even more so. So plenty of places to store stuff between your walk-in closet and all of these cabinets. And then you also have some more storage here opposite the bed. It's not very deep, but you do have more space to get your things organized and put away while you're on your cruise. The paperwork that they've given me, uh, they have the Thomas Keller Grill, which is one of the signature dining experiences here on Seabourn. Uh, Thomas Keller is probably one of the most famous chefs in the United States, uh, the owner of the French Laundry in Napa. So every ship has a Thomas Keller grill. It's included in your voyage fare, so you get to have that amazing uh, dining experience included. They also have a wellness, a spa and wellness menu for the spa. They do give you some face masks if you want to use them. And then they do have some more paperwork about health and safety. Um, this is a special letter welcoming our group. And then you have uh, instructions on how to get the Wi-Fi set up. I'm traveling solo in my cabin. I'm with a group of other um, uh, travel agency owners, but uh, because I'm traveling solo, they've invited me to their solo traveler get together that they have on the first night. And they've also invited me to dinner at the cruise director, assistant cruise director's table. I already have dinner plans with some colleagues of mine, but it's nice that they have this additional touch for me. So this is a cabin tour of the category V1 veranda suite here on the Seabourn Encore. Hope you like this video. Again, please give it a thumbs up and a like. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And um, one other thing, uh, uh, another signature Seabourn experience is that, is that they welcome you to your cabin uh, with your two cabin stewardesses. Uh, they're always, uh, on this cruise line, they're always women and they always work in pairs. So I have a little clip of them welcoming me so you can take a look at that. Okay, so we have Vena mm -hmm. and Tammy, and they've brought me a lovely glass of champagne to welcome me to my room here on the Seabourn Encore. Thanks, guys. You're yes. welcome. It's a pleasure. pleasure. And thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate your attention. Hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more cruising and travel videos on this channel. Take care.